Wipe that off out in front there. Ooh, you got money for me, man? Thanks. For, Wipe that off. It's for the Lord. Hey, we're on live. We're out in the parking lot. Got my got my protesters out here. We got the devil working here. Where where'd Stephen go? I need his phone. Stephen, where are you? Stephen, come here. I need your phone. We've been having a lot of trouble with the city harassing us. I want to read you. This is a guy behind the whole thing. I call him Diabolus. They call him Robin Hangar. Here's a quote from Robin on his Facebook page, April 6th. It says, Taco, Beto's Tacos need to stand tall. They have been put through hell by this animal of a fake pastor. That's he, Diabolus or uh, Brian Hanger, that's he's talking about me. It is, it is not over, and no it isn't. Yet I'm asking that you stand up to him, that's me, this is the devil talking now, that we can get to court, he come to court, bring it on Robin Hangar. And the law can settle this. Gabriel Varga needs to pay them for loss of income. Man, them, this taco, Beto's Tacos, the tenant come out of hell. When he, the day he opened his, day he opened his uh, place up, I, I went in there and, and he had a sun god hanging on his wall. And I told him, take it down. He took it down and put a cross up there. But um, I said, give me that uh, idol and I'll smash it. Bring me a hammer. He wouldn't. He hugged it like he loved it. He hung it back in there after. This guy was the tenant right out of hell. He said he wanted to come here and be part of our church and, and serve God here the rest of his life. What a liar that man is. Well, you know, the Bible says Satan himself shall come as an angel of light. How much more his ministers, the ministers of righteousness. So this is Hangar sticking up for Betos. And then he says again on April the 5th, I read you, this is April 5th. I need all my friends and businesses to pull together to help Betos Tacos to not give in to this so-called man of God that rents to them and is trying to get the owner to close his shop by limiting him. No, I, was, I had to try to evict him because he was thousands and thousands of dollars behind in rent. I got him to pay back by threat of, uh, of eviction. I got him to pay back 5000 and I forgave him 4000 And So that, that's Beto's Tacos. And plus he lies about a lot of other things. Call the man of God at rents and trying to get close his shop, limiting him. The city limited him to seven spots for uh, patrons and two for him. Nine spots they got. I designated. I showed it to you. I, I, I had a. I did a, a whole reel on it. You can look at that. I'm not going to go over that again. Uh, he says, and, he, and, and when he, there's enough parking for more than 50 cars, that's my church parking, it, it, none of his business. He got nine spots. Uh, and at the last, and that uh, he lost another towing company today due to his unreasonable power struggle. No, uh, they went and told Volusia Towing. Well, see, uh, I'll fight the city. Fight the city. Amen. God bless you, ma'am. Come on over here. You want to be live on Facebook? I'm live on Facebook. You don't have to be. You don't have to give me your name either. You yeah, can talk to I'm me. I'm homeless as it is. All right. Know. Okay. But whatever you guys help with, I mean, I actually. Yeah, they've been harassing us. What you, you see, we got that beautiful, see that beautiful trailer sitting over there in yeah. their camper? They tell us we can't have it on our property. Why not? 
Hey, that's a good question. You own it. You got the title for it, don't you? I got the title, so, and we own this property. So that and it's God's seat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so anyway, God bless you, ma'am. Stop. Good luck with the law of fighting God. Th uh, thanks for stopping. They ain't going to win against God. You, you, you believe in God? I do. You got Jesus in your heart? I most certainly do. Good as for you. As my situation is, I know he's got a better plan for me. I'm God bless you. To you have a good day. Thanks for stopping, ma'am. Yeah, there's it. There's one of our friends. So it says, towing cars. He lost another towing company today. Uh, unreachable power truck. Oh, no. Oh, that was it. Oh, no, I think that was a day. Yeah, I think that was the day that they told. The chief of police came and threatened me. He said he was going to, if we didn't quit towing cars, that he was going to uh, go to, go to the, uh, that he's going to turn us over to the state's attorney and they were going to felony process us and they're going to full extent of the law. That, that That's what the police chief come threatened me with. I got it on tape. Um, uh, look up on our, our Facebook. It's up on there. It says... Nothing. It's, it's marked evidence. It's marked evidence. And uh, look on it. It's on there. And it's, it's got him harassing me and threatening me. So th th that's what happened. So they went over and threatened. The, 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 the day he told me I couldn't tow anymore, the towing company towed three more cars that day. And, and, and they threatened the towing company that they had to break their contract with us. That's why we lost it, because of intimidation of this bully government that rules people. They ran another, they ran that window company out of town. Uh, they, they, they were in court the day I was in court. And, uh, oh yeah, it is. Anyway, uh, due to his unreach, no, it wasn't. This is due to his unreachable power struggle. No, it's because of intimidation by the city that, 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 uh, 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 that the towing company there they're blowing their horn now but we got friends we got friends Arrow Towing they did a good job they're in Holly Hill went over there and threatened them that day and uh, when they threatened them uh, they broke the contract because they had to they live in Holly Hill here the, 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 the same day they took me to Kangaroo Court down there I call it Kangaroo Court that's fake court uh, they had the window company. I think it's Abco Window. They moved out of Holly Hill because of bad treatment. They're over in Daytona now. And they were there, and and then even when they're gone, uh, Holly Hill still harassing them. Uh, they're a bully government, and uh, anyway, they that's who they are. And then it says, please help support this small family-run business. Oh, come on. You know... This, this, Robin Hangard, Beethoven, they saying they were done wrong. He lied on the, on Facebook that oh he'd paid his rent. He ain't paid no rent. He had a he he back because he's gonna get evicted. He paid five thousand back, and I even forgave him four thousand or five thousand. I forgave him. So he's oh yeah. This is so much baloney. Small farmer business can't get the rest of this here. Oh, I, I, I took a picture of it. I didn't get it all. Encourage them to fight. You want to fight, Hangar? It's all right. City, you want to fight? Bring it on. You, you fighting God. You ain't fighting me. I'm sending them Bible verses that'll help them. City needs to back off. Get off my back. Drop these charges or we'll go to circuit court. And they're going to lose in a minute. They'll probably lose in summary judgment in circuit court. Get off my back. We got First Amendment rights. We're going to have this trailer on here. We're not breaking no laws. CC1 zoning does not say that the church can't use a camp around their site. They ain't got nothing in there. Only thing they had was that we were sleeping somewhere. They lied about that and said they had witnesses, and they ain't got a one. I called for public. They ain't got a one witness. They're connivers and liars and bullies. Get off our back. Harassing us. We got our people out here.
all up down the block here. There's some people here. Yeah. There's people here. People coming up and down the street. This sign's going to stay up, and we're going to fight them till they get off our back. So uh, bring it on, Robin Hangar. <laughs> Diabolus. God bless you. God loves you. If you're not saved, repent. Get saved today. Talk to you later.